Now let's move inside the cab. Up to 25 optional switches can be located in the center and lower right side of the center dash panel. Location of these switches will vary depending on the options installed. Blank cover plates will be used in spaces that do not have switches installed at those locations. Most of the switches on international trucks are self-explanatory. They should be clearly labeled and backlit to make operating the truck easy. The most used switches are located in the steering wheel for easy, safe access by the driver. All international trucks come standard with cruise control. To operate, simply turn the cruise on, then accelerate to the desired speed, and press the set button. While parked, it is sometimes necessary to ramp up the engine RPM for PTO use. This can be done with the cruise control buttons. Again, turn the cruise on, then ramp up the engine with the resume accelerate button. Other important switches include the lights and mirrors. One of the most important things to know about international trucks is what all the lights on the dash mean. Some indicate problems with the truck or engine, while others simply let you know the truck is performing some routine action. It's important to know the difference to save you the time and cost of taking the truck to the shop when it was not necessary. The engine warning light means that some condition within the engine, such as a pressure or temperature, has reached a warning level. If the condition stays the same or gets worse, the engine may eventually derate or even shut down to prevent damage. The engine shutdown light and warning tone is serious. Stop the truck immediately. Something in the engine has gone past the warning level and is now critical. Some engines may automatically shut down. If your engine doesn't, turn it off as soon as you can safely do so to help avoid further damage. Then contact your service provider. Visit internationaltrucks.com to find the closest international dealer. Vehicles with max force engines are equipped with a malfunction indicator light, or MIL. It signals that there is something wrong in the vehicle's emission control system. You do not need to shut the truck down immediately. Your vehicle is safe to drive, but you should get it serviced as soon as you can. A HEST, or High Exhaust System Temperature Lamp, is only a signal that regeneration has been in progress, indicating a hot exhaust. The light comes on only occasionally and at low speeds. These conditions are normal, and the light simply tells you to be careful of what's around you if you're parking the truck because the exhaust temperature is high. DPF stands for Diesel Particulate Filter, which captures the soot that would otherwise go into the air as smoke. If this light is on, you may notice a message in the dash that says, Parked Regeneration Required. Over time, Soot can clog the DPF, especially if you're in an operation where the truck starts and stops all day long, never really getting up to highway speeds. If the light comes on and stays on, there's no need to panic, but it will require you to do one of two things. First, you can run the truck at highway speeds for 20 minutes or so, which should generate enough heat for the DPF to burn the soot to ash and clear itself. If you can't get on the highway, you need to do a parked regeneration. Having the engine warmed up to operating temperature before regen will speed the process. When you see a flashing DPF light, it means the exhaust filter is just about full and the truck can't go much farther. Without delay, complete a parked regeneration because if you don't, the vehicle controller will begin to limit power to help prevent damage to the engine and the exhaust system. If the DPF light is flashing with a beeping alarm, it means the exhaust filter is completely full and the engine power is being derated to prevent damage. In some trucks, the engine warning light will also be displayed. Immediately do a parked regeneration. To start a parked regeneration, find a place away from flammable materials, structures, or vapors where you can park for a minimum of 20 minutes. Set the parking brake, but leave the engine running. For automatic transmissions, put the vehicle in park. For manual transmissions, leave it in neutral. Now, push the parked regeneration button on the right side of the dash. Also, 
If your truck has a regeneration inhibit switch, make sure it is not lit up or on. After you've pushed the parked regeneration button, you should see a message in the dash that says parked regeneration active and the engine RPM will increase. That's normal. As the exhaust gets hotter, and it will get quite hot, so be careful, it will burn the soot in the DPF and clean it out. Try not to interrupt the parked regeneration process. Wait until it completes. The DPF light will then go out, the message center will clear, and you can resume your normal driving. If the light does not go off, you will need to contact your closest international dealership to determine the problem. The service interval feature provides a visual reminder to the operator that the oil change interval has expired and that routine maintenance should be performed. This feature measures the distance, time, or fuel used from the last maintenance performed on the vehicle and calculates when the next maintenance is due. Your service department should reset this light after each preventative maintenance is completed. If this feature is not turned on for your truck, you will need to monitor the distance, time, and fuel used and perform services at the proper time.